second one is, let us complete all the land and non-land reforms that we have to do in our country. Now, I'm not trying to promote the regime of President Ramos, but we try to level the playing field in both the land and non-land sector. Now, I was told by experts up to today, well, I hope you do not begrudge uh, me by, for saying this, I understand that because of the reforms in the communication sector and other areas, uh, this has become the driver of uh, the Philippine economy up to this time. And uh, unfortunately, we were not able to complete all the reforms, all the reforms that uh, we were supposed to, to do as plotted by that uh, group. Uh, so we have to complete these reforms. Uh, okay, the third one is this. Uh, you know, the power in this country, the power to decide, the power to formulate policies are really in the hands of a few. So, my third suggestion is how do you transfer the power of policy making, of policy implementation from the hands of the few to, to the people? How do you do that? Now, perhaps this movement kit, uh, will be able to look at this very seriously and see how we could uh, ensure that uh, the destiny of this country is too big a word, but for, I'll make it smaller, uh, how we could uh, ensure that policy making and policy implementation in this country is in the hands of the people, in your hands. Sabi nga ng World Bank, ang problema sa Pilipinas, and I have said this repeatedly, is that policy making and implementation is in the hands of uh, a few, they call it the legal key. And uh, to me, this has to be uh, given to everybody. Now, I hope the new constitution and the new system that you are uh, uh, suggesting here, uh, we'll be able to look at that and hopefully uh, do it. Now, the last one to me is, is really very important. In fact, the most important, if I may say so. Now, uh, uh, this is really about uh, uh, how will I put it? Uh, this is about identity. This is about uh, uh, the Filipino uh, in command of himself. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, President Aquino, I mean the incumbent president, earlier, uh, I think, proposed the end of the so-called Wang Wang culture. Well, <laughs> it really, well, for me, it really meant that uh, uh, we had to be in command of ourselves, and we have to be at the center of uh, of uh, uh, of ensuring that uh, we, by our hands, uh, build the nation that we believe is worthy of uh, our sense of uh, really what is uh, good. So, uh, uh, 
Besides the four things that uh, I would like to share with you uh, tonight, I hope uh, you are still awake. So, <laughs> um, Arabic salute.